Okay, here we are back in Brutal and Bounties. Where we last left off, Burning Crow was apprehended, and there is a new issue of the paper out. So as per usual, this is going to be a side quest video. We're going to read the paper, and then we'll do the things that it mentions. So Chipakwik Outlaw Burning Crow apprehended. Can you believe it? It costs a whole penny for this rag. Man. Inflation, I tell ya. Disposable bounty hunters have captured the long-staying outlaw Burning Crow and delivered him alive to Sheriff Lubbock. Burning Crow, a Chipakwik Indian, has been wanted for a myriad of crimes including assault, narcotics, and murder. He was last seen in the Battle of Swellsville, but had not been active in Brock County for ten years. Before turning to crime, Burning Crow was a former medicine man at the Chipotle and a teacher in Silver Spring City. For unknown reasons, he abandoned these causes and became an acolyte of the infamous outlaw leader, Coyote Saint. Officials are looking into whether Burning Crow had any connection with the recent Chipotle attack on Ashwood. Burning Crow was taken to Devil's Hole, where he will remain in prison for the rest of his days. Rabies Outbreak in Swellsville Farmers on the outskirts of Swellsville are contending with an outbreak of the deadly rabies virus. The virus was presumably introduced to the livestock by an infected wild animal bite. After an incubation period, infected animals will froth out the mouth and furiously attack other animals, thus spreading the disease among mammals in close proximity. Farmers are worried about the law office of Swellsville to put down any livestock that exhibits symptoms of the disease lest it continue to spread and possibly infect the residents. Kid, this rabies outbreak is near your farm. We should help put a stop to it, or else it could harm your livestock. Forest overrun by critters. Chipakwik Valley. The Bronco County Sunrise received reports of strange and ferocious critters in the forest just south of the Chipakwik Village. They looked like squirrels, but they were red and striped and very, very mean. Said Ralph Ewing. So, he's there for the question box. The area recently came under attack by Chipakwik Indians who assaulted lumberyard operations by the Comfort Nash Rail Line. I believe the ravenous squirrels are a result of unnatural magics by the Chipotwick, said Ophelia Drake of Swellsville, adding, I saw a Chipotwick witch woman in the forest looking suspicious myself. The Brown County Sunrise would like to remind its readers that Marshall Jennings has enacted a travel ban on lands near the Chipotwick territory due to the search of savage hostilities. Chipotwick magic? There's no such thing. This paper doesn't know anything about us. I want to go to the Chipotwick forest and find out what's going on myself. So, that's two side quests. Silver Spring City hosts Antique Auction. Connoisseurs of antiquity have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to bid on a collection of artifacts at the Silver Spring City Auction House. We have heirlooms, relics, and other objects of antiquity from various civilizations available to collectors. I was able to purchase a fascinating Chipotle relic at a bargain price. It's the perfect adornment for my grand foyer, said Nathaniel Courtright of Swellsville. You two can experience the thrill of acquiring a rare and unique artifact from a bygone age that would make you the envy of your neighborhood. I would very much like to see what Chipotle relic Mr. Courtright has acquired. Perhaps we should visit the Courtrights in Swellsville. So this is McGovern's thing. So we're almost ready to take that on. So, Classroom Riddles, we have more stuff. Hermosas Flores. Weddings, birthdays, funeral arrangements. There are many occasions to buy flowers, and you won't find a better selection than our booth in the San Gonzalez Marketplace. We've got marigolds for the evil skulls, cornflowers for tea brewing, delightful yellow roses, and even rare night blooms. So, what is this? Nothing worth reading. At the edge of the Chipotle Forest, you will find a question box. The code to unlock this question box is on a tree stump nearby. Check the stump closely to find the code. Hmm. Cupboard corner. Lydia Stone Soup. Cheese bread, cheese, flour, egg. To truly refine your palate, you must tour the world in search of great flavors. This cheese bread is all the way from a ristorante in Venice and makes the perfect side for any dish. So we'll have to make that. So I said I was actually going to go deal with the wound, but you'll notice I still have it. So we'll have to cross that bridge in a second. The other thing to keep in mind is when treating wounds is sometimes in the camp screen they'll actually start talking amongst themselves, and those conversations are probably something to look forward to.
Anyway, here's Mr. Courtright. Recently acquired a beautiful Chipaqua artifact from an auction. Please have a look. So it's upstairs, I imagine? Where is it? My irresponsible husband blew a lot of cash on some useless Chipaqua artifact. Now how will I afford my cotillion dress? Where is this thing? I know this, Kito. That jewel is my family's symbol. Ooh, it's first winters. What are you doing? Who are you? A Chipakwik. I think this Kito belonged to someone in my family. No, it belongs to me. And I think you've had enough of a look-see at it. I told you we should invest in security, Nathaniel. Too many people wandering into our homes, eyeballing our valuables with greed in their eyes. I agree. Now it's time for you folks to beat it. My mother, Dreaming Lark, would have crafted the Keto. I need to speak with her about it. Please take me to the Chifakwik village. <laughs> so, more stuff for us to do when we get out there. Help ourselves to some meat. Riddle time! In my dresser at home, I have six red socks, four white socks, eight green socks, and two black socks. What is the minimum number of socks I need to pull out in North drawer to make sure that I have a matching pair? So he has four different colors. So if he pulls a fifth sock, no matter what, it is a guaranteed match. Correct. How'd you come up with that one? Fairly easily. If an orange cat, a gray cat, and a white cat can kill three rats in three minutes, how many minutes will it take a hundred equally skilled cats to kill 100 rats? So it basically takes three cats, three minutes, for one rat. So 100 cats will kill 100 rats in, you guessed it, three minutes. That's right. I'm a little scared of my cat. And the cat knows you're afraid. I was at the Swillsville livery the other day, and I saw a bunch of men and horses. I counted 22 heads and 72 feet in there. How many men were in the livery? So for this one, you have to know horses have four legs, and then on each of those legs is one foot. Meanwhile, the men have two legs that they walk on, which each has one foot. And then since he's looking for a single digit one, zero through nine, you can eliminate anything higher than ten humans. So you have two ways to go about this. You can either guess and check it, which kind of works. Like, you can take different stab points and go from there. So let's just say, for the sake of argument, we'll say, um... Seven people, fifteen horses. So the fifteen horses times four gives you sixty, and then the... Seven men is fourteen, add those together, and we get seventy-four, so we're off by one, actually. So fourteen horses, fourteen times four, twenty-eight, fifty-six, and then you have... Eight humans, and that will be eight times six, sixteen, fifty-six plus sixteen is seventy-two, so there are eight men. Yep, eighteen men and fourteen horses. That's the only way to account for the twenty-two heads and seventy-two feet. My little brother is twice as old as my sister, and half my age. In five years, my sister will be half as old as me. So the awkward wording on this is, we're assuming he's talking about his age now. So... His sister's age... Then is going to be equal to his brother's age now. So his little brother is going to be five. Freddy is ten, the brother is five, the sister is zero. What was it? Was he five years old? Or I don't remember the exact wording. His birthday is coming up, so I'll need a new riddle. Although, hold on, if she's if he's twice as old, that means she's two and a half. So that would be seven, and then he'd be fifteen. So seven and a half. Yeah, that would work. Two and a half, I guess. Maybe I misread it. I don't know. You solved all my students' riddles. Congratulations. Your participation has inspired their young minds to grow. I want you to have this. So we got the dream catcher. Now my students are going to think of even harder riddles for you to solve. Come back and see us later, okay? Look for the ad, yada yada yada. 
So, Dreamcatcher. All damage done to you while sleeping is converted to health. Wow. So there's a hat for Kid with a snooze ability. You can combo this so that while Kid is sleeping, he actually can't be hurt. I'm trying to remember which hat it is that has the snooze. I can actually pull this up for you. Is it the Panama? Southern Drawl, Take Cover, Space, Dixie Special, Space, Beagle Growl, Rebel Yell. Was it the Bird's Nest? Yeah, so this has Snooze. So you can basically use the Dreamcatcher Snooze for healing, and then while you're sleeping, you can't be hurt. Some nasty combos in this game, I tell you. So anyway, we do need to peek into lock carts to see what new hats are up for grabs. Overall, I'm probably not actually going to buy anything from him, though. So, those are what I currently have equipped. Overcoat, I didn't find this for Doc. Overall, I think he's fine. And this is a huge jump for her. So we have the Derby for Monty Spades. This is tempting, man, because I think this teaches you Blackjack. Well, it did in the original game. Shoot Dead Man's Hand, Die Roll, Gambit. Yep, it's Monty's hat. So the bonnet is Rosie's, Flirt, Headbutt, Yellow Rose, Harvest. Poke bonnet typically worn by women of the Wild West. Oh, it's Moons. And then the Mob Cap. Poison Lash, Butterfly, Tumble, Whip Crack. So her? Like, she doesn't have a lot of variety in her moves. Kind of bonnet worn by maids and nurses. Hmm. So I think I want to hold on to my money for farm upgrades. So anyway, we need to put down the rabbit animals. Farms are being taken over by a rabies outbreak. You gotta help us put down these rabbit animals, kid. Better hope Rusty here doesn't catch rabies. Rusty, you okay? Honey kebabs are on the ground. I have rabies. Just kidding. That's just some shaving cream. Rusty, you're a jerk. Hey, kid, did you see that paper? They mentioned you. Well, not by name, but sorry about what you've done. So we're almost at farm level 10. Hey, there's a raccoon over there. Kid, have you heard about the rabies outbreak? I had to put down a lot of my livestock. Could sure use your help. There's a rabbit, dog, goat, pig, and raccoon and loose here. Just one? Careful. Rabbit animal strikes everything around it. Well then, we better go in. Just in guns blazing. Okay, it's still sleeping. And I just realized I never treated her bleed, so we're gonna go back out in a second. So I'm actually gonna try to wait for a whip. Okay, there we go.
using shell. At least we finished it on a crit. Could that raccoon have started the outbreak? So now we have ride by. And I just took off blast. Need to fix that. So that dropped a lot of stuff. Oops, vantages. Duck. Blast. So I don't really care if the raccoon responds, we need to kind of get rid of this bleed effect, because it's costing me vantage points. It is wrong for me to say, but as long as Burning Krill lives, I can never feel like the threat he poses to the Chipakwik is truly over. Don't think we could ever find our way back to the Tawakan Ruins. Not sure if we were ever really there. Remind me to never allow you to take me to that desert again. I feel much better knowing Burning Crow is finally behind bars, so let's actually look at the recipe for cheese bread. Right here. So it increases your protection from status effects. I'm gonna look into sell, trying to sell some of this later. Picture as hell did see me coming. Chance. Gotta put this pig down before it spreads the disease. So I got some bad news for you, Porky. I have a feeling this is supposed to actually wipe out all of your action points. Because if it doesn't, this is easily the most broken gun move. How many more have been infected? So there we go with our triple vantage points. Suck is going crazy. Raccoon just bit me. Hope I don't get rabies. Got bad news for you, kid. <laughs> don't let her bite you. Rabies is fatal. And you have reason to believe him. He is a doctor, after all. So Doc isn't getting any Hattie XP, and I'm not sure why. Well, vantage points, I mean. Ok, 
Okay, we killed the pig. All that's left is the rooster, I think? No, the dog thing. So there we go, we're now an Alfalfa Desperado. Got caught, so I couldn't get the advantage here. Well, if he's just gonna sit there, I'm not gonna argue. So this thing has some sort of haste effect, because it got all of its points in by the time it was even. Rest easy now, my brother. So who do I talk to? The old geezer here? Thanks for putting down those animals. Now we just have to find out what beast started the outbreak. You gotta put down the rabbit creature before it bites again. <laughs> the outbreak started a few days ago. I wonder what animal caused it. Until we find patient zero, we'll never be rid of this disease. Dudley said he saw some kind of wild animal lurking around here the other day. Could it be what started the outbreak? I saw a mountain lion with a foamy mouth out here the other day. That must be the beast that started the rabies outbreak. Where did it go? Last I seen it headed to the west. That's the way to the Howell family farm. You better go find it before it bites your livestock, kid. <laughs> So is it actually here? Yep, there it is. <laughs> the disease has multiplied the ferocity of this wild beast. So, let's put out the harvest. Go in guns blazing. That last shot woke him up. So I'm gonna let my points regenerate to a certain degree. And this degree to be precise. So I managed to get eight. We'll put a pickle out. So it lost the action there, because I put it to sleep. Now, reset its action. Good enough. That woke it up. And we get to end it on a crit. Finally, we stopped the outbreak. So now we have Star Shot. Normal gun attack that increases in power for each status ailment the target had and removes them. Since it removes them, we're leaving that alone. Otherwise, yes, yeah, Star Shot could be pretty fun. It's done. The outbreak has been eliminated. Let's let them know at the farms. So Bongo is kind of glitched where it still does the, uh whole reward thing, but it doesn't actually give you a reward. So round up my stuff for me. One milk, four eggs, two meat. Kid, beautiful day. Harvest my crops. That's what I pay you for.
promise of more tomorrow. So anyway, by hitting farm level 10, that unlocked new stuff. So Rusty will keep foxes away from the farm. I wasn't really aware we even had a fox problem, but okay, sure, whatever. So I can get a new goat, I can get a new pig, I can get a new cow. Definitely want the cow, I think. I think I'm gonna get the cow and the weed. We have seven cents left. I need to save it for a new goat. Anyway, let's go collect our reward, whatever that's going to be. I forgot to talk to this guy now that I think about it. I heard you got rid of that rabid mountain lion, so we all got together and got you something nice. Talk to old Bill, for Bill Crawford over there. I heard you took down the rabid mountain cat. You know, you all saved our farms. We can't t thank you enough, but we took up a collection and got you these. So we got spurs. Gain 100% of your health when it falls below 25%, so it's like a one-time heal thing. And that's assuming you don't get one shot. Which, sadly, is a very real possibility. So... Let's go over here. I'm gonna leave all the stuff alone for the most part. And you know, I kinda wonder... If I had done the San Gonzalo stuff last, would the... I actually want the butternut. Would the uh, tranquilizer gun actually have a lot more power to show because of that, since it'd be the final one there? Uh, there. Just some food for thought. But anyway, the way we're going, in case you're wondering, is I want to take the boat there if possible. If not, then I'll just have Horus take us to the village. So, butternut. That's just a peanut. I there were some butternuts around there, but I can get some more cheese and another egg at least. So I'm trying to think, is there anything else I need to do before I head out there? We're doing an extermination mission in the forest, the Quizmaster safe, and then the uh, thing with Courtright or whatever. I found the tree some picture in the newspaper. There's nothing but another coy riddle from the question master. I'm so confused. <laughs> Swift stream. What are you doing in these woods? They are dangerous now. We was just reading about mean critters out here in the newspaper. I've been trying to heal the wounds in this forest left by the trespassers who caused so much damage here. But the imbalance in these woods has unearthed a new threat that must be first quelled. The squirrels have gained a ferocity that must be stopped. Oh yeah, we had problems with them squirrels when we were here. Remember the school bussin? No, these aren't ordinary squirrels. The discord nature has produced... Has produced to a more new... Th a new... Yeah, this is really awkwardly written has produced a new, more threatening species, tiger squirrels. Tiger squirrels? Sounds menacing. Yes, and until they are pushed back, the original harmony of this forest can never be restored. What can we do? They must be defeated at their lair. As you may know, all squirrels will not fight alone. Instead, they will run from you and regroup at their lair. 
I need you to find five tiger squirrels in this forest and engage them. They will run away. But once you have found all five, come and speak to me again. Okay, so we're looking for that thing in the picture. So, Dixie Special, Guns Blazing. That one squirrel just got worked over. Don't know if that went up in time. There we go, level 23. And we barely got a thing for that. So unfortunately I didn't really pay attention to the picture because I didn't think it'd be this difficult. So there's the first tiger squirrel. Mantis. One step above the praying mantis. previous part ran into the whole technical problem of cat jumping on keyboard. But anyway, we still need to find that one stump. While I stopped recording, I probably should have actually pulled up the picture so I could spot it more easily, but oh well. <laughs> worst come to worst, we can always fall back on strategy and mash A against everything. I think that's all harvest a lot of stuff, you know? Did not mean to fight these things. That will be to their detriment. Pith Helmet and the Padre did not get any vantage points. But there we go, the big one, Sundance DX. The blessings have run out.
the other and scores acquiesce. Ah, here you... wow. So it was back here. No, on the back of the stump. You're not taking me literally. Check the newspaper again. find a question box. It is on a tree stump nearby. I don't know why the otter respawned. I haven't really been counting to know if that's four or five. Patchy revolver. So my other gun is a little bit stronger than it, but that's solely because of the attack ups on it. Okay, so where's their lair? Look for a leafless tree, one that represents the discord of nature here. That is where I believe they have gathered. Be prepared for a fight. <laughs> ah, 
Ah, here we go. So there's more than one, yes. Let's see what they've got. The Tiger Squirrel's lair has been found. So yeah, we're gonna have to start going in guns blazing. Just hoping to put... Okay, there we go. Definitely go for a bounty right now. Tiger squirrels renounce their claim to the forest. Only a B rank. Bones level 22. Rosie's level 22. So now we have standoff. Gives user and target dueling stance, which increases dual power the longer it's active. The first to attack, the other adds this power to the attack, then both lose the stance. Mm, I'm gonna pass on that. <laughs> the tiger squirrels have been pushed back. My work to restore the beauty of this forest can, conti can continue. It will be a long and arduous task, but thanks to you, this place will begin to heal. You are proud warriors, and you deserve this. I hope it will benefit you in the battles to come. So we got the Thunderbolt bow. Shoot arrows like bolts of lightning. Oh, there go the bees. I think it'd die that fast, jeez. There's the mercy shot. Come on, give me a lot of honey. Hmm, a little bit. Got 
got some wax too. So we need to see Moon's mother. Continue work to restore the harmony of the forest. Thank you for your assistance. Ishkwa. I found a Kito that I'm sure belongs to someone in, t in our family in the home of a rich settler. Oh? I see. It belonged to your mesk first winter. When his body was found, the Kito was missing, stolen by some dishonorable thief. That's horrible. How can anyone be so disrespectful? It's only right that you return it to our family. It has no place as part of a hotchup collection. You want me to steal it? <sighs> so you can't exactly talk to her? <laughs> it's only right it'd be with your family, I guess. The Korrits only see the Kito as something to impress their neighbors. They don't understand the significance it has to your family. Then you'll help me steal it? Yes, let's go back to the Courtright Mansion. This is so messed up, man. So before we actually do anything... Gonna drop a save. And then I need to screw around to figure out the save combination. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so here is your solution. The answer is you have to actually look at the picture itself. Their numbers written in very tiny print on the sketch of the tree stump, 9037. <laughs> so this better be worth the headache that it caused. It's a good thing Eli there didn't uh, brute force this one, because he'd be here for a long time. <laughs> so we get the bear trap trapping. Enemy star battle paralyzed. Eh. I don't really think that's going to be that valuable, because it takes time for them to get their points. It's only going to help you if they get the jump on you, maybe. But for your average fight, it's just not going to do anything. Oh, his name is Ralph, not Eli. So when he, wrote, when he wrote Check the Stump closely, he meant the stump in the newspaper, not the tree stump in the forest. You should have known his riddles are never that straightforward. <laughs> so yeah, let's blow this pop stand. <laughs> Take us to Swellsville. Ah, oh, you can go to Cypress Flats with this. Uh, Fool's Feast, I don't know if there's a way out, so stay away from there for the time being. I will notify you guys once I know a little bit more. So yeah, a little bit of a down note there. So let's try talking to him. If we're going to steal that Chipotle guard back, we'll get caught if we walk in through the entrance. Let's get into the storage shed. Before we actually go in, let's... I want to stop at the general store real fast. So, I'm looking for two things. The first is whether or not they restocked the honey. Which, they have not. And then, what does cheese bread sell for? Here we go. Wow! So this is the best when it comes to ingredients and everything. So yeah, I'll go ahead and sell a bunch of those. So I need to get a goat now. <laughs> it's the sacred doll depicting the shape of darkness. What entity is it depicting? So I'm hoping I have one other thing here to sell. We can part with the whetstones, I guess. So now I can buy a goat when I go back to the farm. I reckon there's some dunk on your spur. Seriously? 
Lockbox is locked and requires a code. Eli, do you know the combination of the lockbox? Huh? Well, I may as well help you steal that thing. I'm sick of the security guard bumbling through the house. Lockbox digits are the number of flowers in this bedroom, the number of flowers in the library, and the number of flowers in the living room. So this room, library, living, hallway. I'm gonna actually write this down. So, current room, live, live, hall. Good luck. So there's four in that room. I would think this is the hallway. Okay, he turns around. That's how you're supposed to get around him. It's so the library. That's two. The hall seems to be a resounding zero. And I see two tulips in the corner, two on the fireplace. Well, they're not tulips, but four for there. So, 4240? Single target, bow attack, strike twice. So that can be uh, kind of nasty. <laughs> so I don't know if it's its own reward or if you actually have to go take this back to Moon's mother. So we're gonna go pay a visit to the village real fast. Return the Keto. You mean you stole the Keto? You are a brave man for coming to this village, Mr. Courtright. One doesn't become as rich as I while lacking nerve. Now give me back what's mine. You don't understand. This item belonged to my brother first winter. It was taken right off his dead body. Was I the one to steal it? No. I purchased it lawfully with my own money. The only thief here is you. Perhaps you are right. Is this really the right thing to do? Is this what First Winter would have wanted? Yes. This item is sacred to him and our family. It has significance and meaning only to the Shvaklik. It should not be brought, bought and sold like a commodity. I don't know. Kid, I'll let you decide what we should do. Hmm. Fifty bucks? What if I paid you fifty bucks for it? That's more than you bought it for, and a little more for all your trouble. Well, let me think about it. Consider the extra cost of security you gotta pay to protect it. That's true. This thing isn't worth the trouble. I'd rather just take the money. Thank you, kid, for finding an amicable solution. Um, looks like I don't have that much money on me right now. Very well. I'm taking it back for now. Come see me when you have the money. break here, can I? So I'm gonna have to do some cooking, and we'll pick up here in a second. Well, not here, but Swellsville and stuff. So, a little bit extra before we actually go back. If you talk to Little Battery, he says, hey, you helped me, I'm on the side of Chief Flying Trout, take this. 
He gave me a Calumet, which is a peace pipe. What was that for? Actually, maybe it's like a treasure or something. I just made a mountain of cheese bread and sold it. Fork it over, jerk. Can I buy this pocket artifact? <sighs> Fine. Should have just kept it. So, with that, I think that's everything that there is to do this video. Kinda curious what would happen if I actually told him we were gonna keep it, but I don't think I have a save file where I can load back to that, do I? Hmm. We'll give it a try. So if anything interesting happens, then I will uh, splice that in, but otherwise that is it for now. I'm the Hero of Light, thanks for watching, and goodbye.